So, at the moment we've got lots of things plugged into my car with engine carbon clean, cleaning the car. They say this is one of the dirtiest cars that they've had to work on and the uh, figures, all of the numbers um, on the computer screen show that it's like really high, the top right one, they couldn't believe how high it was up. So this is by far the most effective carbon clean of the engine. I was running at just under a thousand hydrocarbons, which is all the unburnt fuel. And they said that's the highest that they've ever seen. The next one down was um, around 750. So I've absolutely smashed the record in terms of the most unhealthy, most ungreen car ever to run that these guys have seen. So I'm quite proud of that. And now that it's down to 25 after the first clean out, there's still two more to go in the next 20 minutes or so. So we're really Really hoping that we can get it down to zero and have this car running how it should be so that the car is breathing properly there's no carbon buildup whatsoever in any of the internal engine bits catalytic converters or the exhaust manifolds anything like that so um, this is gonna be a completely different car once um, well once I get back in it so this is just, uh, I mean, their reaction was just said it all. I don't know whether I caught it on camera. There might have been some swearing as well, but their reaction to seeing a figure so high is uh, definitely uh, brings home that my car was actually very, very unhealthy. So now it is going to be nearly brand new. So the amazing news is the guys at Engine Carbon Clean have not only made my car run unbelievably, we've got it down to six hydrocarbons, which um, is exactly the same as the Audi R8 before me, the silver one with Armitrix exhaust. That ended up on around six as well, but it only started at 30, whereas mine started at near enough 1,000. So that is how good this carbon clean is for the car. My car is running so much healthier, so much greener, so shout out to Greenpeace. And um, it's also just gonna be running so much more efficiently. There's so much air going into the car as well, which uh, I just can't believe, can't believe. And now um, I'm gonna film my reactions of driving it for the first time with everything that uh, GAD tuning and engine carbon clean have done. And uh, yeah, I think this car is gonna go like a rocket now. joking half not joking this car feels very very different it doesn't feel like a brand new car it doesn't feel like a Lamborghini it still feels like an Audi R8 V8 but 
it's just got that sense of urgency about it. The throttle response is definitely something that I can really pick up on and just put my foot down now. I'm in fourth gear and I'm doing 35, 40 miles an hour, but it still wants to go. And the torque there is brilliant. And the fact that this car is just a lot more healthier and a lot more clear breathing is definitely a huge plus with this carbon clean and the engine pack and everything like that. But I also know that I'm doing that slight bit more for the environment. I know that that's just a real long shot because technically I'm still doing an awful lot to destroy the earth with the fact that I'm driving this massive V8 with a huge army trick valve tronic exhaust or whatever it is. However, I, have, I am driving with the valve shut at the moment because I need to talk to you. So there's those sort of pros and cons into driving at the moment with the carbon clean engine. I feel like I'm being a lot more greener and um, driving this car is a lot more fun. So I win, the car wins, everyone wins and even the uh, petrol stations. No, they don't win because I'm filling up less. Although I have only got 40 miles left of fuel. Um, and that might be something to do with the fact that what happened 10 minutes ago with this Audi R8 V10 Spider. Enjoy. Yes, I'm not sure whether it had a stock exhaust or not. It kind of felt really quite burbly at low revs on the V10. And the weird thing is that it was in the traffic, but um, good to see you, seafood. Wonder whether he's watching this video. Always hurts my brain when some people honk or wave or give the thumbs up or whatever, whether they're watching now. Shout out to you. So there we go, that is uh, the sort of ins and outs on the carbon clean that happened last Friday. And um, I apologize for it only going up tonight on Tuesday. The sun is shining, which is amazing. And I am absolutely shattered from my first gym session last night, but I'm gonna keep this strictly to do with cars, to do with gad tuning and the engine carbon clean guys that helped out on the Friday to make my car run completely almost brand new in terms of the internals of the engine, all of the pistons and everything like that. So it's been a fantastic experience. So thank you for watching guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. The sun's out, which means that spring is on its way. And once spring comes, then it's summer and things are gonna just go mental from here. So make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, please click like. And if you don't like it, then just click dislike. I won't be offended um, and I'll just do better on the next video. Make sure that you comment and let me know your thoughts as um, they're always appreciated and I read every single one. And I try and reply as much as I can. Um, but until next time, see you later guys. I'm gonna drive back home sensibly and in sixth gear.